Hello everyone and welcome to my new series that we are doing. It is 21 days of stamps. And I chose to do this because I'm so proud of the release we have at Brutus Monroe. It just came out today. This is day one. There are 21 stamps. So I'm going to do a new video every single day for 21 days. And I'm going to use one of the stamps every day. I'm very excited about this. And I hope you guys like it and watch it and want to make some fun stuff too. So the first stamp that I chose is Alley Cat. This is a brand new six by six background stamp that we just came out with. And it's really cool. It has um, some really interesting things. We're gonna make a couple different projects today uh, quickly. And I'm gonna show you a third project that I made and I'm gonna tell you how I did it. So um, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna dive right in and I am going to show you what we're gonna do. All right, so the first card, we are going to use some of the slate cardstock. I've actually cut it to fit into the Misty. So that is, um, it's just six and a half inches wide and it's the normal piece of paper. I just cut it to six and a half. So I'm going to take the stencil of the month from June. This is a really cool stencil. I really like the designs and um, this stamp kind of reminds me of, you know, like it's called Alley Cat. I kind of wanted to do some like grungy prod projects. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna take this. I have some aubergine ink. I have an ink blender and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend some of this ink right onto here. There's a little thread. So it's real, there's no rhyme or reason. I just want to make sure that we are able whoop, able to see the design when we're done. I apologize if this is shaking right now. I promise the videos won't continue like this. I'm just, I'm at the studio right now and the camera mount is connected to the table and I meant to fix that before I started filming this and I just now realized that I did it. So, Hopefully this isn't bothering you, but I will fix it. So we, I kind of just want like a light covering. You see how that is? It, it's okay that it shifted a little bit. We don't want it to be perfect. I kind of do want it to have a little bit of grunge. Like I said, I'm um, using the aubergine because I think gray and purple look really cool together. I think it's like really like, spooky almost vibe. So I'm gonna try <laughs> to do this quicker so we don't have as much. Yeah, like look at that. It can overlap a little bit. No big deal. Here, I'll do this off of the table so we don't have these problems. So it doesn't shake so much. So I hope you guys um, are enjoying the new release. Um, like I said, there's 21 stamps. There's so many different things you can do. There's, oh, I'm so excited about it. So along with, I guess I can explain that now. Along with the 21 days of stamps, I am also going to be doing 21 days of giveaways. So every day, when I feature a new stamp, there is going to be a giveaway associated with it. So I will show you what today's giveaway is in a little bit. And I will tell you what you will have to do to enter. So it's very simple. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, which if you're already here, that's a pretty simple thing to do. Just click subscribe. So you have to be a subscriber. 
to Michael Loves Crafts. And from there, I want you to leave some type of comment about the video, something you liked, something you didn't like, or, you know, whatever you want to say hi, you want to say how are you, you really like whatever I'm doing, just do that. And then I want you to share the video. Share it to your friends, share it to people that you think might like the project. Um, but yeah, subscribe, comment, share. I will choose the winners by random, as long as you've done all of those things. And those will be announced at the end of the 21 days. And I will update information about that as we go along. You can enter every day, you can enter one day, you can, as much as you like, okay? All right, so now that we've got the design from the stencil kind of mishmashed all over this, I've just put it into the Misty and um, I already have the stamp in here. So it's like that. So what I'm gonna do next is we are going to heat emboss uh, this stamp over this with the alabaster um, embossing powder. So first I'm gonna take this uh, the Brutus Moreau Magic Bag. This is refillable. And, you know, when I first started embossing, I didn't use one of these. I didn't, like, really see a purpose to this. But let me tell you, there is a purpose to this. It makes, makes the detail so much better. It's just a really, really good thing. And this is just um, the Brutus Monroe embossing ink. Clear. It's great, it won't dry on your project, so if you know you stamp it and you wait a few minutes, you'll be okay. It will still adhere the embossing powder to your project. So we just wanna get this real nice and juiced up here. Set her off to the side and let's stamp her down. I'm gonna put some pressure. see what we got here. It looks fairly good, but I'm just gonna one more time, real quick, just give her one more little push. Make sure it's nice and covered. All right. Flip the Misty over. If you guys don't have a Misty, I'm telling you what, this literally is, it stands for Most Important Stamping Tool Invented. We, we carry them at Bruce Monroe, so you can go on BruceMonroe.com, type in Misty, and they will come up. There's this size, and there's um, a mini Misty too, a smaller one. So, I'm telling you what, this is the best thing that there is. It really is the most important stamp tool ever invented. And I was fortunate enough to meet Ileana, the woman who invented this product, last year at the anniversary party, so that's really cool. All right, so now I'm just gonna take this uh, just a piece of paper, plop that down, and let me grab my alabaster embossing powder. We're just gonna, you know, shake her on. So I'm filling this at the new uh, studio here at Brutus Monroe. And we're gonna have so many classes and stuff in the store. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Really, it's gonna be so much fun. All right, moment of truth, guys. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait. All right, let's set that off and just get our powder back into the jar. Look how full, look how full this jar still is. Like, you really, it, a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. So now's when the magic happens. This is one of my favorite things to watch. So it's gonna get noisy for a minute because I'm gonna do the heat embossing, but oh, it's gonna be stunning. Right, here we go. Up oh, there she goes. 
It's like a magic trick every time. This literally gets me every single time of how cool it is. Alright you guys, look at that. That's so cool. You can see it like up close a little bit there. Okay, let's get in there. The detail, like it really gets that crisp detail. These little caps are so cute too. You see the little caps in the stamp? Alright, so let me just grab a paper towel. I made a I made a bit of a mess. Just gonna dust that away. Okay. All right, so I'm, whoops, sorry, I just bumped the table. I, I have to cut this real quick. So the trimmer is over here. Just hang tight for a moment. I promise I'll be right back one second. All right. All right, so I have trimmed this down to an appropriate size. And um, the next thing we, we're gonna do is adhere it to a card base. So what I have is just a black six by six card base. So all I did here was take a piece of um, 12 by 12 paper, I cut that in half, and then I scored it in half. So we have this cool black textured background. So all I'm gonna do is take a tape runner. This is the uh, Thermoweb Tape Runner XL, and it's refillable. We sell this at Brutus and Rowe. Um, I We sell the refill. And I'm gonna tell you what, I love this tape runner. That's a foam square piece. <laughs> um, I do, I just love this tape runner. I use a lot of it and <laughs> I don't know if you really need that much tape runner, but I need that much tape runner. I don't want this puppy to go anywhere. All right, so I just picked black because I thought that it looked kind of like nice in black, like almost like a matted frame or something. So there we have that. And then the next thing we're gonna do is put on a sentiment. So this stamp set I'm using the sentiment from, Christopher does a birthday box every year in April and the stamp set is exclusive to that box. You cannot purchase it separately. You have to get it in the box. Unfortunately, it's sold out, so you can't buy it. I apologize. But you got two stamp sets. Two in that box. Incredible. So I'm just using this happy birthday, this like longer, but I just wanted to show you guys where um, that came from. So he also does a Halloween box that would have an exclusive stamp set and also a Christmas box, Christmas card box, holiday box, whatever you want to call it. So I just, um, <laughs> I put the stamp on this obnoxiously large acrylic block just because it was the first one I could find. <laughs> and let me get my little piece for this, if I can find it. Oh, right over here. All right, so I just have like a little piece of purple. This is um, the Aubergine cardstock from Brutus and Rose. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna heat emboss this as well. Let's just dust her up, get her nice and, nice and ready for the party. So again, we're just gonna take the embossing ink and I wanna get it real juiced up because I don't have this in a misty and I will never be able to get it back in the same spot again. So I have to be like real cautious about this. But I like this sentiment because it has the full happy birthday but it's long and I think it's gonna look really cool on this card. All right, here goes nothing. Press that down with a nice amount of pressure. Whoop, she's stuck. 
Perfect. Check that out. All right, so we're gonna go right back to my piece of paper. However, this time we're gonna use Raven embossing powder. So I think this is gonna look really nice. Ooh, I get it all on there. All right, now let's pick our little sentiment up. Check that out, oh, stunning. Purple and black, yes, yes. All right, let's put our powder back. Boom, in. All right, so we're just gonna heat emboss again real quick. Get this nice and nice and ready. All right. Looks like something white landed in there, but you know what? That I actually was doing other things here, so no big deal. See if we can brush it off when I'm certain it's dry. And then all we're gonna do is, um, we're, I cut a piece of glitter stock that we're gonna adhere this to. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna take two foam squares. Boom. Boom. Right in the center there. Peel those little backer pieces off. We're gonna stick it on the glitter stock. You know, I, I did the glitter stock because I wanted to add just like a little touch of something on here, even though it's kind of a grungy look, a different like weird look. Mm. So we'll just kind of center this, press it on. And then I'm just gonna stick it right here. So I happen to have a hot glue gun from something I was doing earlier, just already heated up right here. So I'm just gonna do that. We're just gonna, boop. Right there. And there you have it. So I actually have one I did earlier that doesn't have that white mark on it. <laughs> So we'll, we'll go with this one, but yeah, this is the card. I think it's it's cool because it has that like design in the background from the stencil and then the white embossing I think is awesome with all these like windows and stuff. I think that's a really awesome card. And then, you know, inside you can put another piece of paper, you can handwrite a note, you can do whatever you want. So that's card number one. And now we're gonna move on to a second project that is actually, it's not gonna be a card, we're gonna make a bookmark, which I think is super fun. So what I did, we're gonna, I took, uh, we, have, we have these large media tags. They are so cool, you can do so much on these things. So I cut mine down to um, a little bit larger than, a little bit taller than the size of the stamp. So. What I'm going to do is just put this on here, set that down, and I have a couple different inks we're gonna use. I'm actually gonna use these little blenders because that's what I did before. That was before I found the, <laughs> before I found the blender board. All right, so this is just the uh, gargoyle ink. It's like a dark gray. We're just gonna really ink up here and then just kind of swirl. I'm swirling around just all over. And all I'm all I want to do, all I want to achieve here is like kind of a bricky red background. Like that's the kind of the color we're going for. So we're gonna start with this color got this like asphalt or not asphalt gargoyle it looks like asphalt I think that's why I'm thinking that so then I'm gonna take um, 
This is Wagon, which is a red. Ink her up. We'll just add little spots of red, kind of right over top. In Wagon's, um, a brighter red. That, and then I'm just gonna go same ink blender right into some Marsala ink. And this will be the third color. And this is like such a quick project to do because it's just like you take the tag, you take the ink, you swirl it around. Adds like some cool colors. And then bam, look at that guys. Doesn't that look really cool? I think it looks cool. Awesome. So I'm gonna set that aside and I am going to bring the Misty back out. Actually, no. Before, before I bring the Misty out, I do wanna heat set this. I just wanted to dry that up a little bit because we're gonna emboss on top of this. So I wanted to I want to make sure that we are good to go and the embossing powder won't stick to that. So I do what I this is obviously not as wide as the stamp. So I want it to go off of the sides. So I'm not putting this all the way into the corner of the misty. I'm gonna pull it in a little bit. And I'm gonna put the magnets up here. And I'm not gonna close this all the way, I'm just gonna kind of see where we're at. Okay, I think that's actually a really good place to be. Perfect. So then all I'm gonna do is take the bag, dust her down, perfect. Grab some embossing ink, juicer up, all right, I think that's probably going to be good, let's see. Press her down, give a little pressure. All right, I think that's gonna be great. So we can set our misty aside. And we'll just take our piece of paper and I'm gonna use the Raven embossing powder. So we'll just sprinkle that all over. All over. Now, I'm calling this a bookmark. It doesn't have to be a bookmark. You, it could be whatever you want. You could put a sentiment on it. You could call it You call it anything. It's like this one little piece up here needs some more. Ah, yes, perfect, look at that. Like a dream. I'm telling you, the detail of this stamp is like insane. It's so cool. And it's like, it's so versatile. Like you could do it in glitter. You could do it however you want. I just wanted to do it like this because I haven't seen a lot of stuff like this. So, so I'm just gonna set her there. We're gonna emboss her right on up. Right. Oh, that is amazing. Amazing. 
this Raven and Bobby Potter too. I'm telling you what, I love the Alabaster and I love the Raven. I love them all, let's be honest. Right, you guys. Oh, look at it. I think it looks so cool because it almost like looks like it's in a building. Don't you think? I think. All right, so the next thing I did is actually I just made like a little tassel to hang. So we just have this yarn. It's just, you know, black yarn. Black, brown, I don't know. One of those colors. So I just kind of wrap it around my hand, like my four fingers, like this, like as much as you want. That seems not good. So then I just cut it off. And, oh, lost my yard. All right, so then I'll just take this piece and loop, go through that loop, okay? See that there? And then I'm just gonna tie it up. All right. Maybe we'll do another little knot, just, just for good measure. And then what I do is I just kind of cut this. There's some stragglers. We'll cut this short. Cut that off. But then I just kind of cut it. Like I put the scissors through the loop at the very end and pull. And then just cut it. And then you kind of just pull it apart. Then you have this like really crazy tassel thing. And then from there, there it's real simple. You just kind of put it through the hole and tie it up. You could do the back of this. You could put, you know, like a sentiment on the back. You could write a note, like if you gave someone a gift. So I'm just gonna put like a little bit of glue there because I think I think I made it too short. I wasn't thinking when I cut this. There wasn't a lot of room to tie it. So we're just gonna put some hot glue there. And uh, it'll be good. So now you have this like really cool bookmark. You know, you use it as a bookmark. You could use it as a tag for a gift. You could do whatever you want. You could use this technique on the front of a card. I just wanted to make something different because it was a tag and I thought that was cool. So, so far we have our fun little bookmark and we have our happy birthday card with the cool. So this is two different ways to emboss it. We did a little ink blending, little ink smushing, blending, whatever you want to call it. On the background of each, we used a stencil, we did that. So those are fun. And then the last card, um, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna go through the whole process because it took a bit of time. But basically all I did is I, I say it, happy birthday to you, right? So I stamped the image um, with embossing ink just on white cardstock. And then I embossed it with penny. I don't know if you could see that, the shimmery shiny, but I love the penny embossing powder too. So then from there, all I did was I took colored pencils. These are the ones I used. I used uh, reds, browns, and yellows. That's it. Um, they're from this Studio 71 colored pencil set. We carry this also for this one row. I think it's, I don't know, $7.99, something like that. But you get 24, there's a ton of colors. I only use these ones for this. 
Um, and I just kind of really scribbled it in, like around, I kind of wanted it to have like a real cartoony feel. And then I just took another stamp from that birthday set I showed you and made this little sentiment, cut it out with scissors and put some foam tape on. And then I took some, just a, a little bit of the black um, detail ink with a water brush and just kind of zigzag that around the edge to rough it up, make it a little more grungy. So that was kind of what I wanted to do today. So that's the Alley Cat stamp. I can't wait to see what you do. I, I think it'd be cool to try like aqua pigments with this. That would be fun. Um, so there's that card. There's the little bookmark tassel thing we made. And then this happy birth, this other happy birthday card. And that is all using this stamp from Brutus Moreau, brand new Alley Cat stamp. So before I forget, um, I was talking to mention giveaway. So we recently started carrying these I Spy DIY items. So the first giveaway for today, for today's video is going to be this brush set. Um, it retails for $9.99. So I will send this to somebody who subscribes, comments, and shares this video. And I'm so excited to see what you guys make. These are really cool. You can ink blend with these too. Uh, little known fact, you can. There's so many things you can do with this stuff. Um, you can even use it to like sweep off embossing powder. That's a really good idea on your desk and stuff. Um, so this will be the giveaway for today, which will not be announced until the end of the 21 days. So like I said, you can uh, subscribe, comment, and share these videos for a chance to win. And that's it. I will ship to you completely free on me. And that's all I have for you guys today. I am, whoop, see we're moving again. I'm gonna fix that for the next, for the next video. We will have no more shaking. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, enter the contest, and have a great day, guys. Thank you.